Tessio. The people have been testing me. I I person not see they just late for one minute. Eh, my people. <laughs> I love you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father Lord, we thank you. Holy Ghost, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, you are worthy to be praised. The I am that I am, the beginning to the end. Father Lord, we thank you. Begin to thank him, begin to share, invite your friend, tag someone, tag someone, tag your friends. God will surely bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm so happy to see you all here today in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we thank you. We appreciate you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we appreciate you, Lord. Begin to thank God for everything that he has done in your life. Begin to appreciate him right now. Father Lord, we thank you. Holy Ghost, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Begin to appreciate him. Begin to thank him because he has been doing a great thing in your life. Father Lord, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we thank you. Begin to thank him. Begin to worship him right now. As we are sharing, I'm sharing here. Begin to share. Invite your friend. Tag someone. Tag someone. Begin to tag your friends. Begin to tag everyone. Invite them and God will surely bless you in the name of Jesus. Le Oh, Father Lord, we thank you. We appreciate you, Holy Ghost. Sir. You are the King of Kings. Sir. You are the Lord of Lord. Our Father Lord, we appreciate you for everything. We appreciate you for all the great deliverance that you have been giving us. Father Lord, we thank you for smiling on our face. Sir. Oh, Holy Ghost, you are wonderful. Holy Ghost, you are great in the name of Jesus. La Caraba City, Ripapa. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, you are so good, you are so kind. Father, Lord, we thank you. Begin to thank you, begin to appreciate him. Share to your friend, tag someone, tag someone. Tag someone in the name of Jesus. Le Caraba City. Oh, Holy Ghost, King of King. La Caraba Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Jesus. You are so good, you are so kind. Le Caraba Setaribobo Setaraba. Oh, Father, Lord, you are so good, you are so kind. We appreciate you, Father. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for everything that you are doing right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, Holy Ghost. Hey, Father, in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, move your power. Move your power, Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. Le Poposi Caraba. Father, Lord, we thank you. Holy Ghost, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Le Caraba City. Oh, Father, you are so good. You are so kind. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you for the 40 days. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. Hey, Father, Lord, we thank you in the name of Jesus. I just want to welcome people that are here. I welcome my sister Evelyn. I welcome my brother Mike. I welcome uh, Bama Wo. I welcome my sister Bama Wo. Yes, I'm correct. Welcome sister Felicia. I welcome uh, sister Sandra Okoro. I welcome you all in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father Lord, we thank you. Holy Ghost, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we cover this place with the blood of Jesus. We cover everyone here with the blood of Jesus. Father Lord, we soak every prayer we're going to pray today with the blood of Jesus. From the crown of our head to the sole of our feet, we cover it with the blood of Jesus. Father Lord, we appreciate you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let us begin to appreciate him. Let us begin to appreciate God for everything that he has done in our life. Waking up this morning is a blessing. Let us begin to appreciate him. Begin to appreciate him, begin to appreciate him. Say, Father, Lord, I appreciate you for everything. Thank him in advance. <coughs> Excuse me, thank him in advance for everything that he is doing right now. Father, Lord, we thank you in advance. You say, Thank you, thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for the blood of Jesus that is greater than every other God. Begin to appreciate this God. Father, Lord, we appreciate you. Father, Lord, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, you are worthy to be praised. The I am that I am. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Begin to thank him. Begin to thank him. Begin to worship him. Begin to thank him for making our enemies 
to be disappointed and put their own reproach on their head. We need to thank him for that. We need to thank him for opening our eyes. We need to thank him for, for, for the life of our children. We need to thank him for every of our day activities. We need to thank him for everything. Big thing, little thing. We have we, are, we need to thank him. We need to thank him for these 40 days. We need to thank him for all the revelation, all the deliverance, everything. We need to thank him. Begin to thank him. Begin to thank him. Let's begin to worship this God. Rakata Libaba City. Rabobo Zingaraba City. Oh, Father Lord, you are worthy to be praised. Rakata Libaba Baba Setaraba. Oh, I'm so excited here. Ratoto Zingaraba Soto. Oh, Father Lord, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Le Popo Sikaraba. Oh, Father Lord, I thank you, Jesus. You are so good. You are so kind. Retata Riba Bakete Libobo. Oh, Father Lord, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father Lord, you are worthy to be praised. Rakata Rakata Libobo Sikaraba Sete. Oh, Rakata Libobo Zandaraba. Oh, Father Lord, we thank you, Jesus. Hey, I am lift his name. Begin to lift his name more higher than every other God, because every other God is nothing. You know, begin to lift his name. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, yes, oh yes. Lift his name higher. Lift his name. Lift the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Makarabu Sotori Katalaba. Father Lord, I thank you. I lift your name higher more than every other God, Father. Oh, Father Lord, you are worthy to be praised. Oh, yes, yes, you are our Lord, our God, our Savior. Father Lord, we lift your name higher. Begin to lift his name higher. Lift his name higher. Oh, yes, Father Lord, we lift your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, we lift your name. We say thank you, thank you, Jesus. Father Lord, let your power begin to move, Holy Spirit. Let your power begin to move, Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your power begin to move. Let your power begin to touch us, Holy Spirit. We lift your name higher more than every other God. Every other God and nothing. Father Lord, you are the only God. Oh, Rabba Kitalaba. Oh, yes. I am. See everywhere I go. I will lift this name. Ah, my voice always crack on it. I don't know. Lord is so good to me. If you know the Lord is so good to you, lift his name higher. Oh yes, lift his name. I hope everyone pray for me for church today. I'm just coming. I've not even sit down. Started. I hope you guys, if you pray for me, say I pray for you. Or if you have to pray for me, I need prayer too. Ah. Oh yes, begin to lift his name. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. 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 Rabba Baba Sitarama. Le Karabu Sotorobo. Yeah. 
Yes, Father Lord, we lift your name. We thank you in advance for what you're going to do today and what you have been doing now. Father Lord, we thank you. Holy Spirit, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we thank you. Oh yes, begin to thank him. Ah, yeah. Yes. He said the Lord is good. If you know that the Lord is good, lift him higher. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. So nobody pray for me. I say who we'll pray for me. Put it there. Nobody pray for me. Okay. I'll continue to pray for you all. In Jesus' name. Even Prophet Elijah, he need prayer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He is the only God that rules like thunder. Yes. He is in charge. Father Lord, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Yes. Begin to thank him. Father Lord, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, you are worthy to be praised. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ah. Oh, we lift his name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God bless you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, because I'm very sure. Hmm. What are you afraid of? Why are you afraid? When you are afraid, God cannot do anything for you. When you are afraid, you are holding the right hand of God to work for you. If you are not too sure, God is not there for you. God works with people that are sure. He is a sure God. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Hmm. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You have to be sure because our God is a sure God. But when you are too, sure, when you are sure, when God is doing something for you, then you are sure because He's not the God that is working on your behalf. When you are not there, because His message is speaking on your behalf. Yes, Holy Spirit, the message is speaking on your behalf. When you are sure, He will do it for you. When you are sure like that woman that hold the helm of Jesus Christ, uh, then some powers go out of him. 
Then he turned, he asked his disciples, he said, who touched me? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Huh? He said, who touched me? The disciples laughed. They said, ha ha, master. There are lots of people here. No, Jesus Christ said, someone touched me. Because that is a woman of faith. I want someone here to touch the hem of Jesus Christ today. Because our God is a sure God. Huh? It's a God that never fails. Oh, yes. When that woman with the issue of blood, uh, when she touched Jesus Christ, she touched the hem of Jesus Christ, uh, a lot of things uh, changed in her life. Uh, when she touched the hem of Jesus Christ, uh, power left Jesus and went into her. So I want you to touch Jesus Christ today. If you are sure that he is the God that while I told that, if you are sure that he is a sure God, uh, I want you to touch his hem today. You need to be sure. Just like that man that was in the pool of beautiful for good 38 years, that man was there before Jesus Christ was born. Do you see that man? Heaven was closed. I'm talking to you today. This is this is not what I'm. I'm just you no. Know, my message has been preached. Has been said. But God is just telling me to tell you. That man has a family for good 38 years. He was um, in front of that pool. Before Jesus Christ was born, angels will come there. They will stir that pool. And people will enter, they will be healed. Every family will, be, will disappear. Heaven will open. But that man was dead. The heaven was closed. Because today we are going to do the conclusion of our heaven blockers part three. You understand me? So that man was there. He was helpless. People were there helping him to do this, to do that. But when Jesus Christ touched him, his heaven was open. He was healed his standing. All the family was gone. Disappeared. When Esther You remember Esther when the king was looking for a wife. Esther was not a virgin. But the king need a virgin. But Esther heaven was open. Vashti was the throne. Esther took over the throne because her heaven was open. And I pray today. That every Vashti that have been sitting down on your glory, that Vashti will be unseated today in the mighty name of Jesus. I say that Vashti will be unseated today in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Every Vashti that is sitting on your glory will be unseated in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Because our God is a sure God. Our God is very sure. It's not like every other God. When he do something, we say, no, you have to pay back. He will say, no, it's not sure of what he's doing for, for you. But my God is a sure God. When God raised his right hand, that is power. When he, when he put it on you, every family will be disappeared. There is nothing he cannot do. Remember Sarah and Abraham. All the promises that he gave to Abraham and Sarah. Me and you, we are enjoying from me today. What is the name of uh, 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 Sarah's son? He put laughter in my mouth. And I pray that Almighty God will put laughter in your mouth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He is a very sure God. Very, very sure God. I want you to, you know, because some people, you know, I don't know, some people, they still go here and go there and go here and go there. When you do that, you are blocking your heaven. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are blocking your heaven. You need to let your two legs be with God. Don't go here, don't go here. When you are with God, he will pull laughter in your mouth. When we are, when you are with God, your two legs are with God. When you touch Him, when you touch Him, oh, rakara ba 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 sin tarabo. 
you will see that your life your life will, will, will just change you understand me your life will change in a token of an eye there is nothing he cannot do you understand me there is nothing God cannot do this God that is same yesterday is it the same God today I went to go and pray for somebody over this uh, weekend on Friday everybody they were there there were pastors that were sitting down they know me they said woman of God pray he said when he was going he was coming he said God told him that God is going to use me to deliver somebody here today we started praying it's a long story that guy was saved God saved him another one came that one was not supposed to be there because of divine intervention of God who was there this is not say somebody told me I have seen somebody who does not have a womb God give the person a womb that doctor that removed that womb is now a pastor in Martin of Fire today nobody told me I saw it when you trust in God you will see things that will be happening in your life there are some things that you know so there are some things you don't even know that you do that so that, that you don't even know that you want you will just see that God will just be giving it to you but when you are doubting you are doubting and doubting you will see that God will not really it will not work for you because you have given your time and your faith to Satan remember that man that went and ran and met Jesus that soldier he just says just speak my soldier will be healed you understand me and Jesus Christ spoke to him and the soldier was healed Jesus Christ look as his disciples say I have never seen this kind of faith in Israel so what we are saying what we are doing with our body language can actually close our heaven do not use your mouth to close your heaven don't let Satan manipulate you to close your heaven Satan can manipulate you to close your heaven don't let that happen when your breakthrough is already in your hand when you are about to give testimony do not give Satan that chance do not give Satan that chance I pray that God touch you today in the mighty name of Jesus Father Lord I thank you Father I know that you are going to touch somebody today Father Lord touch your children Oh yes, Father Lord, touch your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Because I know that God is touching someone today. Because distance is not a barrier. Distance is never a barrier. And I pray that God will open heaven here today. If it is heaven of financial breakthrough, heaven of healing, marriage, if I'm anything you want God to open for you, He will open it for you today. In the mighty name of Jesus. And God is going to touch someone today in the mighty name of Jesus. I want someone to say, Father, touch me. Say, Holy Ghost, touch me. Say, Father, touch me. Say, Holy Ghost, touch me. Say, Father, touch me. Holy Ghost, touch me. Say, Father, touch me. Holy Ghost, touch me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Father, touch me. If you want God to touch you, say, Father, touch me. Touch every area of my life, Lord. Father, Lord, touch me. Holy God, touch me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Father, touch me. Father, touch me. Touch every area of my life. 
Holy Ghost touch me. Father Lord, touch me. Say, Father Lord, touch me. He will touch you in every area he wants to touch. Say, Father, touch me. Holy Ghost, touch me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Le Karabo Soto Rikatalaba. Father Lord, touch your children. Holy Ghost, touch your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, touch every area of their life. Yes, Almighty God will touch you. The power of God will hit you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Say, Father Lord, touch me. Holy Ghost, touch me in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Father Lord, touch me. He will touch you. He will touch you in every area you want to be touched. He will touch you. Say, Father Lord, touch me. Holy Ghost, touch me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, begin to touch your children. Holy Ghost, begin to touch your children wherever they need to be touched, Holy Ghost. Father, Lord, touch them. Let their heaven open. The heaven of their children, let it open. The heaven of their business, let it open, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, touch them. Holy Ghost, touch your children. Touch them in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, touch your children. Touch your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, I thank you. It doesn't matter if you are anywhere. There is no distance in the realm of the Spirit. Father, Lord, touch your children. Touch every area of their life. Father, Lord, touch them. Touch them, Holy Ghost. Yes. Father, Lord, touch them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, touch them. Father, Lord, touch them. Let something happen. Yes, Father, Lord, touch them. Let something happen. Let them feel that touch, Holy Ghost. Let them feel that touch. Let them feel that your touch. That your great touch, Holy Ghost. Let them feel it. Let them feel it that you touch them, Holy Ghost. Rakata liba basanta rabo. Father Lord, let them feel that touch in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, let them feel that touch. Holy Ghost, let them feel that touch. Let them feel that touch. Let them feel that touch and let something begin to happen in their life. Let them feel that touch so that every chain will be broken, Lord. Father Lord, let them feel that touch. Holy Ghost, let them feel that touch in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, let your children feel that touch. Let them feel that great touch in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Father Lord, touch me. Holy Ghost, touch me. In every area of my life, uh, Father Lord, touch me. Begin to pray where you are. Say, Father Lord, touch me in every area of my life. Uh, Holy Ghost, touch me in every area of my life. Uh, Father Lord, touch me, Dora. Touch me, Dora Agassi, Holy Ghost. Father Lord, touch me. Holy Ghost, touch me, Dora Agassi. Touch me wherever I need to be touched, Father. Holy Ghost, touch me. Touch me right now wherever I need to be touched, Holy Ghost. Rabo Bosi Karaba. Say, Father Lord, touch me. Holy Ghost, touch me in the mighty name of Jesus. I know that Holy Ghost is touching someone here today. I know that God is touching someone right now. Say, Father Lord, touch me. Holy Ghost, touch me in the mighty name of Jesus. Almighty God will surely touch you. I say, God will touch you in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive that touch. Receive that touch. Receive that touch in Jesus Christ's name. We pray. Amen and amen and amen and amen and amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, you are touched. In the mighty name of Jesus. Like I said, today we are doing the conclusion of the heaven blockers. We're going to you know, conclude that one today. It was uh, among our fasting because of the time and uh, everything by the grace of God. Uh, that's why we are doing it today. And uh, Almighty God will surely touch every area of your life. Uh, anything that I have been blocking your life, wherever you have blocked it, Almighty God will touch you in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, I say Almighty God will touch you in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Holy Ghost will touch you today. Holy Ghost will touch you today in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. So I'm just going to read uh, some Bible verse today. I'm trying to put one music. I don't know. 
the music is not going. It's okay. Um, I can play it light later for you in the name of Jesus. So I'm just going to read Matthew 3, uh, 3 13, 16. That's what I'm reading right now. Hold on. I still want to pray this music. Devil is a liar. Hold on. In the name of Jesus, Father Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. So I'm reading from uh, Matthew 10, Matthew 3, 13, 16. That's what we are reading right now. He said, "Then cometh Jesus from Gal Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him, but John forbid him, saying, I have I have need to be baptized of thee, and cometh thou to me." And Jesus answered unto Jesus answered said unto him, For thou it becometh also fulfilled all righteous all righteousness. Then he suffered him, and Jesus he suffered him, and Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straight away out of the water, and lo, the heaven were open unto him. You see, the heaven was open unto Jesus. Right away, the heaven was open unto him you understand me so um that is what happened so if you see this passage if you see this passage and uh you know a lot of people they were standing around there they were standing around there people were already being baptized people you know people is being baptized they were they were being baptized before jesus christ came you understand me so uh, they saw but they, they didn't know who Jesus they didn't know who Jesus Christ was it was only John the Baptist that saw that the heaven was open you understand me when he wants to baptize Jesus Christ see that the heaven was open and God ascending like you know they, they, you know the, 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 the spirit of God is ascending the heaven was open upon his head when he's being baptized I'm talking about Jesus Christ now because John the Baptist, he already knew, you know, when he saw him, he knew that this is the Christ that was coming. You understand? So, when he came there, you know, let me just give you, explain a little bit. So, when he came there, so he was uh, telling him that uh, he's not, you know, he, he, you know, like, oh, like, Father, ah, I'm, I'm, I'm too small to, 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 to baptize you. No, Jesus Christ was telling him, no, this is something that you have to do you know so when he when did when he do that uh when he was uh baptizing him so the heaven opened you understand me the spirit of god descending like a dove and the lighting upon him upon his head upon jesus christ's head now but a lot of people were there they didn't see it uh, you know uh -huh. you know jesus did not go out to go and minister until he received open heaven you understand me? Jesus Christ did not go out to go and minister. The ministry did not start until he went and uh, until he had that open heaven. You see, this open heaven is very, very important that someone we have. You understand me? But a lot of people they don't know the reason of open heaven. You see, so now we are using that's why because I just want this one with this conclusion. I would have preached, but I want this conclusion uh, of this uh, message that we are preaching so that we use our Lord Jesus Christ, you know, to conclude it. You know, to you know. So you see, Jesus Christ heaven opened. When is heaven open? Then he starts, he starts to perform miracles, start to do so many things. Uh, you understand me? Some people heaven has been closed. Uh, that is why they are not manifesting. Thank you, Star Dry. You are doing a watch party. Thank you. So that your friends can be blessed and God will surely bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. So after this, so he went and started to minister. So Jesus Christ we start to minister and he, because the heaven was open above his head above his head 
You know, some people, their heaven is closed. The darkness is upon and above their head. You understand me? I want you to pray this way. I say, Father Lord, let my heaven be open. Father Lord, let my heaven be open above my head. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, let my heaven be open above my head. Holy Ghost, let my heaven be open above my head. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, let my heaven be open. Let my heaven be open above my head. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, let my heaven be open. Let my heaven be open above my head. Let my heaven be open above my head. Let my heaven be open above my head in the mighty name of Jesus. Let my heaven be up open above my head and i pray for everyone here your heaven will be open above your head i say your heaven will be open i dora agresi my heaven will be open your heaven will be open well whatever you need any area you need your heaven will be open your heaven will be open i say your heaven will be open yes my son your heaven will be open. Your heaven will be open in the mighty name of Jesus. Your heaven will be open. Rato, rakete, libaba, sandaraba. I say your heaven will be open in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that everyone here that is hearing the sound of my voice, your heaven will be wide open above your head in every area you need. Open heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. You see? So you see that our Lord Jesus Christ, the heaven was open thank you mommy abubaka you know the heaven was open that is the reason you know, after the heaven has opened then he went and start preaching and do his miracles you understand me so when someone heaven is blocked someone heaven is blocked you cannot do much because everything will be blocked you understand me? Even people, they will not see you because the heaven has been blocked. And I pray that your heaven will be will be open in the mighty name of Jesus. You understand me? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You know? So, this heaven, he said, he could not operate because when the Old Testament closed at Malachi, you know, in Malachi, the, 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 the Old Testament was closed for 400 years. You know how many years the children of Israel stayed? You understand me? For 400 years, uh, God did not send any prophet and did not talk to anybody. God did not send any prophet and he did not talk to anybody, any, any, anybody. For 400 good years, the heaven was closed. If you read the book of Malachi, you will see. And the heaven was, the heaven closed and it was brass. Let me write it again because last time people were making mistake of that brass. You know, the heaven was closed and it was brass. You understand me? It had to be opened before the Son of God could start his ministration. You understand me? The heaven has to be, that brass has to be broken before the Son of God could start his ministration. Before the Son of God can go and manifest. Before the Son of God could go and do so many things that he was, he came to this earth to do. You understand me? I pray for you, brother Mike. Your heaven will open this week in the mighty name of Jesus. I say your heaven will open this week in the mighty name of Jesus. That is a decree and it must come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. You understand me? In John 1 51, uh, mommy, um, patient Aguko, thank you for writing it too. God bless you. You know, so in John 1 51, it is written and it said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, hereafter, ye shall see heaven open say i shall see heaven open begin to say i shall see heaven open i just read the verse for you i shall see heaven open and the angels of god ascending and descending upon the son of man the first the, the, the first of all ascend and then descend ascend descend ascend descend because the heaven was open and god will be standing up there god the father will be standing because the one that opened the heaven for you by himself. You understand me? Meaning that the interactive for the angel of God to come to come and help you. You understand me? Because the angel of God is coming now to come and help you. You understand me? Say, I must see open heaven this week. 
Say, I must see open heaven this week. In the mighty name of Jesus, I must see open heaven this week. I must see he open heaven this week. I, Dora Agassi, will see open heaven this week. Anyone that is hearing the sound of my voice will see open heaven this week. Say, I shall see open heaven this week. Everything that I declare here today must come to pass speedily in the mighty name of jesus sir. you shall see open heaven yes sister Evelyn, you shall see open heaven uh, mommy uh, uh, florence coloco you shall see open heaven mommy abaka you shall see open heaven you shall see open heaven this week la kata rindarabakata oh father in the mighty name of jesus sir. your children will see open heaven this week in the mighty name of jesus sir. you know for your life to be prosper the heaven must be involved you see, for your life to be open to be prosper, the heaven must be involved because the heaven above us is seeing everything. You understand me? Because you know, may we not die in ignorance in the mighty name of Jesus. Because what is really happened to a lot of people is ignorance, sir. and I pray that Almighty God will touch you today. Almighty, yes, yes, it's a grace, a Zulu. You are you will see open heaven this week in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. He said, For your life to prosper, the heaven must be involved. You see, the heaven must be involved for your life to be prosper because the heaven above us is seeing everything. You see, as I've seen that you are there, everything come on. Heaven is seeing everything above your head. Heaven is seeing everything. Yes, mommy, and your heaven will open. Heaven Heaven is seeing everything. Your heaven is open. Amen. And amen in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that your heaven will be open in every area you need. And any area of your life. Uh, your, I'm not going to tag this person because you are not here. You want me to tag you all the time. No. Come here. You know. In the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, your heaven shall be open in the mighty name of Jesus. Le karaba sin tarabu. Ratata sin daraba. I bless you, man of God. God bless you, pastor. God will bless you and your ministry in the mighty name of Jesus. That's my, my great pastor from Mountain of Fire. God bless you, sir. Pastor Ray, God bless you for tuning in. You understand me? So, your heaven must be open in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. You know, begin to declare to yourself, your heaven must be open. Because your heaven must be open because the Satan and heaven, the heaven, the, your forefathers, uh, 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 your ancestors that in the second heaven that is blocking, uh, that make it open. Brother, they have no power. Your heaven must be open this way in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Amen. Amen. If a man is ever going to be prosper, he cannot do it outside an open heaven. If you really want to be prosper, you cannot do it outside open heaven because open heaven must be involved. Open heaven must be involved. You understand me? If somebody heaven is covered with brows, uh, is covered, uh, you will see that uh, the person will struggle and struggle. And I pray for someone here, anyone that have a child here, I pray that the heaven of your child will be open. Uh, I say the heaven of your children will be open in every area of their life in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, a destiny remain stagnant uh, until a connection is made between head and, head and heaven. You see that, a, 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 you know, you see that, amen, God bless you, beautiful cousin, you know, a, a destiny remains stagnant uh, in one place until you make connections between heaven and earth. You understand me? When you make that connection between heaven and earth, uh, how are you going to make that uh, connection between heaven and earth? You need to bombard the heaven. You need to bombard the heaven with prayer. If you sit down in one place and say, oh, oh, what, what, every time if i want to do something it's not coming to pass god does not even look at your sentiment god does not look at your tears amen god does not look at your tears at all he does not look at your tears. He does not looking at your oh 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 no because if you have to pray because if you are not praying yes your heaven must open mommy augustina if you are not praying eh, and you feel that oh at that thing eh, when some people some people say it's well it's well that thing eh, sorry to say i don't like it is well, let it carry fire. You understand me? Your is well, yeah. Your, your heaven must open. Is well, let your is well carry fire. You talk to some people say, It's well, Sha. It's well, it's well. It's a lie. If you are not bombarding the heaven, it's not well. 
You understand me? You need to bombard the heaven. You see the way we are praying within this 40 days. We are praying and praying and praying and praying. God has been answer, answer, uh, answering our prayers. Uh, you know, heaven has been receiving our attention. You understand me? Okay, somebody, you just imagine, for example, somebody that is sitting down and say, I swear, I swear, Sha. I swear. You think heaven will listen to that one? No, it's, 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 it's a spiritual thing. It's, there's not going to help, you know, it's not going to happen. You understand? You see that woman that touched the hem of uh, Almighty God? It touched the, uh, the hem of Jesus Christ. I mean, touched the hem of Jesus Christ. Uh, the, the heaven, the listener, it get heaven attention because you have been praying. When you are sitting down and say, it's well, it's well, uh, people, they are coming, they come and be uh, uh, giving you all the info, advice, there's one Baba and everything. When you start to go to Baba, to Baba, you are closing your heaven. I'm telling you, those things happen when your miracle wants to come. Amen and amen. And you have to make that connection. Like I said, make connection with heaven. Make sure that everything that you are doing is good. Make sure that you are right way with God. That's, you know, you bombard the heaven, everything, then that brass will be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray for you today, every brass that is covering your, your heaven, that is making you, yes, the heaven of your children are open in the mighty name of Jesus. I like that. The heaven of your wife will be open, yes, in the mighty name. I like that, you know. We pray for our children, pray for our husband and our wives too. Oh yes, oh yes. It's so in Jesus' name. So, like I said, you know, when that brass is broken, that brass is taken away, you see everything, wherever that you have been forgotten, you see, they will begin to look at you. Say, ah, ah, there are some things, let me tell you, do you know everything that you need? No. There are some things that you need that you don't, don't even know that you need, but our God will give it to you. That is the way our God works. Amen? Amen. So, today I urge you to make heaven connections, sir. Have not earthly connections, sir. Because when you are too much doing the things, earthly things, sir, then the person will not close his or heaven. Sir. Then the person will not become an enemy of God. When you are too much earthly things, earthly things. No, no. Focus on heaven. You understand me? Focus. Make connection so that heaven will open for you. And I pray that heaven will open for everyone here today in the mighty name of Jesus. But when the heaven become brass over somebody's head, uh, his destiny is good as dead. Like when the when when the person heaven is being closer, you know, is being closer, you know, the, the, you know, God forbid, the destiny is dead. You understand me? Okay. So uh, the, you have to say the truth. Uh, when the heaven become a brass, how are you going to bust that brass? Uh, no, no, think it. How are you going to? Is it the Holy Spirit that is going to bust it? Yes, it's Holy Spirit that is going to bust it. Uh, you know, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, you know, like some people, when you are praying for them, when you are praying for some people, God bless you, Brother Garado. When you are praying for some people, their mouth will make. Bah, bah, bah. I'm very funny because not that I don't know how to speak American English, I know how, but in this my preaching, and there's nothing to be pretend or something because Jesus Christ had an accent that was how they know that he is Jewish. When Jesus Christ speaks, they will know that he is Jewish. So there are some people for you to know that their heaven is closed. When you are praying for them, their mind will make pop, pop, pop. Ah, ah. hey brother or sister, say amen. Ah, amen. Amen is Jesus. Amen is you receive. Amen is Jesus. Sir. You understand me? So that is when somebody is praying for you. You say, Amen in Jesus' name. Like, uh, you know, pastors. I'm talking to pastors here. There are a lot of pastors here. Pastors, so when you are praying for somebody and the person is forward, stop. Don't pray for that person because they have sent somebody to come and close your heaven. Because when you are praying at the same time, the person is praying. You are the lead here. You are praying for the person. The person is supposed to be saying amen because the person come to meet you that you should pray for a person. By the time you are praying, the person is praying together. If you are raising a prayer point with the person, it's different. If the person prays together, then your spirit is open. They will enter the, the heaven will be closed for the ministry. You understand me? So we have to be careful about that one. So some people when you are saying, ah, ah, eh, say amen now, make pop, pop, pop. the man will make pop, pop, pop. Ah, ah. You know, because the heaven is, you will see that there, there's a thick cloud above their head. You will see that there's a thick cloud that is following them. One day I was praying for one woman, this woman she just, you know some people just feel that if you are a woman of God, you have to be a very bold person. And I don't know, I'm not think does not say you are old or something. You understand me? I have been seeing this life from when I was a little girl. So, I started praying for this lady. When I started to pray, then she started eating like snake. You know, this snake is a People have been praying for her, but they did not know. But God opened my ear. 
to hear that one. I just I say stop. I say just thank God that I'm a good person. I could have make you to remember that is thing that's where you are. But you know, today to, to, she vanished. You understand? Know, we have to be we have to be very very. Uh, you know, we have to be very very careful. You know, when someone is praying for you, even when other prophets that you know all those satanic prophets they pray for you, you have to listen to what they are praying. Listen to the tongue they are, they, they, they are speaking. When you want to do too much, they are praying, you are praying at the same time. From there, they can enter your spirit and close your earphone. This is not among my preaching. God is just telling me now that it's that lonely right now. You understand me? So the heaven can be closed. You have to be careful. When somebody is praying for you, say amen, you receive. Amen, you receive. Amen, you receive. That is the reason when we go for ministration, we go outside, you know, we always tell uh, people, the one that is not applied to you, they don't say amen. The one that is applied to you, they, they say amen. Amen, amen, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that Almighty God will make you to see beyond in the mighty name of Jesus. And he will see through your eyes in the mighty name of Jesus. And, you know, when the heaven are closed and there is no rain, remember, when the heaven is closed, there will be no rain. Remember the time of Elijah when the heaven was closed and there was no rain. But God told him there will be rain and there was rain you understand me when heaven is closed there will be no rain plantation will not survive you understand me imagine human being the the, the, the heaven is closed eh? when the heaven are closed seed are wasted because they are put in the soil where they will not grow you understand me so when somebody heaven is closer the heaven will be closed and the person will not manifest nothing good will manifest in this person's life amen amen god bless you sister cynthia god will bless you you understand me in jesus name you know that is how it works you will plant much but reap little when the heaven is closer you walk and walk and walk you do everything with all your power you cannot do things with your power amen you cannot do things with your power it's only god God that can do things with you because you don't have that uh, power you know you will plant much then you will reap little because the heaven is closer the heaven are closer and, and the life now will now become a struggle when the heaven is closer someone's life will now become a struggle amen share this video tag someone say i use a, a sister daughter video to bless you i use it to tag you i tag you i use it to bless you for this week you will see they will come back with testimony and heaven will mark your name because you have you know make someone to be safer you know so when the heaven is slow like i said earlier a life will not become struggle you understand me you know, you know, the person will be working a profit teller, a, a hand worker. The person will be working a thank you, mommy, if you want. You know, you know, the heaven will just be, you know, closed all the time. Uh, amen. And God will bless you, sister Ivo. God will bless you and your family for what you did this weekend. Although I was sleeping, you make sure that you break the door you enter. You, I love you, and God will surely bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, amen and amen. That my sister right there, she, she, she. She got me this weekend. Amen and amen. So that is uh, when the heaven is closed, right? Uh -huh. So somebody will be making profitless job and everything. And I pray that your heaven will be open now, you know? Yes. You know, when some people heaven are closed, they will say 10 years, 20 years doing one thing. There is no result. You understand me? Because their heaven are closed. Some people stay somewhere for more than 10 to 20 years. They did not get anything because their heaven are closed. In this America, I've seen some people that have stayed 40 years, 45 years in this America and Canada. Their heaven is closer. <coughs> Even a plot of land they don't have back home. They don't have this is not uh, they tell me that they, and I see it. I saw it myself. You understand me? So their heaven is closed. That is that is the reason why is it that they don't do anything. So when they are not close, depending, I always said that. That's what I, when I was preaching this uh, Friday somewhere when I was there. So I was telling the, the person said, Ah, if I see the person, I will kill it. I said, they, God has saved you from one one place. Then you want to see the person. I say, Devil have the way of he, he has status when he passes this way it doesn't work. Pass away. The person wanted to kill you. Then now you are safe. Then you want to kill the person. So the devil is still planning to lock you up. If you kill the person, are you not going to lock up forever? 
You're going to be locked up forever. Amen. You know, so thank you, uh, Brother Daniel Gali. You know, so, you know, the heaven will be closed if you don't know how to do things. So when they have closed the person heaven, what they will do, they will summon the person back to 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 his, to, to his hometown. They will they will bring the person. God bless you, brother Anusa, great man of God. They will not bring the person back home. If you see a lot of people, they spend more than forty five years, more than fifty years. You know, if you see some of them here, they carry Afro. This one is not. Uh, I'm just talking. Some of you that live in America, you know, they carry Afro. Uh -uh. When they speak, you say, uh -uh. "This person is uh, is from my village, eh? <laughs> this is from my village." You understand me? After they have closed their heaven, then they will not summon them home. When they summon them home, some of them they will die. Some of them you see them where going out uh, with uh, ordinary sleepers at home. Some of them they have paper, they will go home. Some of them they don't even have paper, they have been here. Imagine somebody have been somewhere for 40 years, it doesn't have paper. By the time the person reached Molitala Mohammed Airport, the eye will clear. The heaven has been closed. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, when the heaven are closed, uh, you need more labors to do a very little job. You understand me? Once somebody heaven is closer, it will do more, you know, labor, 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 labor for small things that people just get like this. Because the heaven is close. You understand me? Many people are struggling because of close heaven. Because of close heaven. You know, when you are saying some things, uh, you say something, say something, just be well, this weekend I say, okay, you don't need you want to hear from God and say, Yeah, you want to hear from God. I don't like to always talk like that. When I'm praying with you, what I'm saying, I'm using it to be praying for you because people like prophecy, you know. When I start to tell that he said that even the person that said he was born here, they do like this. He said that sit down because they don't see me. They see me in the office, they don't even know who I am. You understand me? You know, with this my own, it makes me to know my 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 grandmother and those they used to say, my children don't love somebody or don't know who, who they are. You understand me? Those some people that I saw that they were just looking at me, they don't know who I am until when I manifest in their in their presence. You understand me? <laughs> I pray that you will not use your hand to close the heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. You know, when the heaven has become brass, sir, when the heaven has become a brass, eh, that is when worldly and sins find a way into the life of a Christian. Yes, that is what I'm saying. They'll come and tell you, let us go and meet uh, uh, let us go and meet the, 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 that Baba. Let us let us go and talk to that Baba. But I know, sir, we need to talk. Oh, send your, your WhatsApp to my inbox. Mm -hmm. Not now, we destroy the this you send it later. You know, so when the heaven are closed that day, the devil will now use a way to creep into someone's life. Oh, that baba is <laughs> That man, if you don't pray for a person, it's like this, mom, we'll just get it. They will close the heaven tight. They will close it tight. It will be brass upon brass. It's even better that you are in a place that you are before. When the heaven become a brass, problem remain the same. Even after deliverance. You understand me? Even after deliverance, uh, you will see when some people, because their heaven is closed, uh, after deliverance, everything will see make it will not help on uh, A person will consume much more than it produced to contribute. You understand me? You know, when the heaven is closed, uh, you will see that there will be, you know, some people, you know, they, 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 they pay debts that they did not even owe. Because their heaven is closer, they, be, they, they begin to pay debt upon debt, you know, they will have the spirit of rising and falling all the time. You understand me? You know, when the heaven has become a brass, a person will labor on hard ground. A person will labor on hard ground. I see some people, they, they do business, they do all kind of things, but there is not getting anything because their heaven has been tempered with her. Their heaven is closer. You understand me? When the heaven become a browser, a person will be laboring more, 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 more labor. You will see uh, uh, what everybody is just, you know, you know, will be tight and everything. You, you are doing business, people are doing that business, and everything has been, you know, okay. But when you enter, you know, we, we turn to another thing. And I pray that everyone that is doing business say your business will be open in the mighty name of Jesus, sir. you know, you know, the people will be, they will labor, you know, they will labor with that, you know, the when you they labor big, but they will get little achievement, uh, you know, that's what they will they get when their heaven is closed, right? When their heaven is closed, uh, when you know that, when you know that the 
ground is dry, that you know that the ground is dry and a family is hoving on that dry ground, uh, the hole will be making much noise. You know, you see when ground is okay, make I use a local term, said one. You know, when ground dry now, you put something with me, come, come, like concrete for something. I want to go and break concrete like this. You do it, you may, more, more, it will be making noise. It will be making noise. That is how it be when the heaven is dried. When the ground is dry and the heaven is closed, that is how it works. Amen. Amen. When the heaven become a browser, you understand me? Devourers are released. You know what is called devourers? I want, you know, later I want people to go and pray this thing very well. Because some people, I don't understand. We're going to pray that one another day. When the heaven is, when the heaven become a browser, then devourers, you know what devourers mean? Uh? Devourers are released onto a person label. They will release, Satan will release uh, devourer onto somebody's label. It will lead it to deflated and paralyzed life. You understand me? And they will affect the person. Like the spiritual life, which everything we just it will just died. You know, you know, it is possible. You know, it, it is it, no, no. It is not possible for somebody that the heaven is closed and the person is living. You know, you say you know the person cannot live in a good life. Uh, if you see people that their heaven is closed, uh, they are the people. Their heaven was open before, but now Satan they or they have used theirself to make sure to to close their heaven, right? Then now. They don't have anything because the heaven has been closed back, 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 because of what they are doing now. Then they will now be living in past glory. You understand me? They will be living in past glory. When you see somebody that is living in past glory, be careful about that person because that person can actually uh, can draw you and draw you together with their closed heaven. Uh, I first get 20 houses. I first get uh, uh, 30 houses. Those are past glory and those are spiritual things. Uh, you know, that, that is what they continue to say. Oh, that year we finish, the other one we finish. They don't really know what they're supposed to do. You understand me? So we need to be uh, be careful of people that living in past glory. You understand me? You know, so uh, they just make noise. They make noise all the time. You understand me? Uh -huh. So their mind is just, you know, when, you know, just going everywhere they are talking about their past glory uh -huh. so when you are praying and your mind is wandering around it's wandering around hmm. Stella you tell her that is you must give me my money today must give me, you know you are not connected to heaven if you see when you are connected to heaven if you see now when we're on a deliverance ground or on a program you know if you see people that the Holy Spirit hits fast is the people that their mind are open because the pastor will be telling you connect to heaven no it will not connect cell phone back 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 back, back. okay I pass by because I'm giving my money that girl that is following my husband there well no problem only ghost fire you understand me then you will not be that is another tactic Bible, Satan is using to destroy, to, to distract you, not to uh, connect to your open heaven. You know, when the heaven are closed, the person find it is you know very easy to coexist with darkness. Uh, you know, because the heaven is closed, uh, then the person very you know now now the person just cooperates with uh, the power of darkness. Uh, you understand me? Then the condition will be very very high. You understand me? So, I just want to ask, you know, beloved, if you know that any area, just check, do what they call spiritual mapping and say it all the time. Do spiritual mapping right now, just do spiritual mapping. If you know wherever the heaven is close above your head, you understand me? Do spiritual mapping right now so that you will start to pray for that. Uh, uh, for that for that area you understand me because this is an important question whether it is healing side your heaven is closed whether it is true finances whether it's true marriage whether it's true business uh, you understand me so before we start blaming anybody for our before we start blaming anybody for our problem we need to ask uh, you know we need to ask some questions uh, you know you say am my heaven open is my heaven really open 
because if your heaven is really open you will see that a lot of things will be will, will just be happening when you sometimes when you say you have story some people will just be telling me story when they hear another person call another person they are sitting down there we are there or the person just come to come and come and meet me where i'm sitting down there thank you mommy <laughs> mommy Evelyn. so when they see another person come ah when they say don't come compare yourself many times i've seen that go compare yourself ah, i don't have a story you no I, i'm i'm blessed i'm blessed when you see when you see somebody you see somebody like what is happening to the person you will see that you yourself you don't even have a you don't even have a problem you don't even have a problem you understand me most people it is them that use their mouth to cover the close their heaven is their mouth as me be now as i'm sitting down here i give pastors money pastors that don't have i give them i will send money i say come go and look for pastors all those pastors that you know their shoes fire there are some pastors their shoes are fire they don't have money this are happening i say go and buy shoe for all of them you understand me i send me to you people that, that don't even know they just send me a message for that that is why you know the blessing is coming from every side but some people they want to give pastor money they question the pastor they question and question and question for a person like me i can never eat god money never because that's why i'm doing my own money you understand me when you release your hand you see that god will bless you like some people they will go they want to go and give something in an orphanage one make one powder they'll come and put it in facebook last year city of Edmonton, they give us more than sixty thousand bread that we shared why we put it on video is because everybody single mother everybody they just last it was the last week and i just went there i said so what uh, homeless let me go and buy uh coating for them i buy every time i call them mama mama they are white people mama hey, mama mama i will cook with my gut i go and give them that is blessing you understand me you to open your heaven because of all those uh, pastors, you know, that is taking people money, people don't they don't want to do it. But that is what people like. Before you pray, you will say you have to pray because before you pray, you have to sow seeds. That is what people like. You understand me? So we have to be careful on what we are doing so that we don't use our mouth to close our heaven. You understand me? So we have to check thoroughly into our heart, look deeply into our life, and commit our life to Jesus today so that our heaven can be open amen yeah. oh you no know, have you noticed like have you noticed that you so much but you bring little have you have you noticed that you so much but you bring little in no we are talking now like we are talking thank you mommy uh patient you know we are talking now we are raw here you know we are just talking have you noticed that you 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 do much you know you so much and you bring little you know you see this seed that like me if i want to sow seed i sow on what they call solid ground i don't just see you. Mm -mm -mm. i sow on solid ground like our father in the lord our father in the lord bless us give him one give us money say i want you all to be blessed <laughs> when you people are blessed you come and bless us you understand a lot of people want to father me they want to mother me no i have only one father that is dr lukoya finish I'm not, I, I'm not, I didn't have a mother now. God is telling me this person, this person, I'm still praying about it. You understand me? <laughs> so we have to sow on a solid uh, ground. When you sow on a solid ground, you see that you will be blessed. You understand me? <laughs> so that is how. So the money, like for example, I notice that the money you have sweat for for years, you know, you are spending it on sickness. You are spending it on devourer. You are spending it on different things. You are spending it on different things. You are saying that some pastor, pastors, they are here now. Some pastors, they don't even pay tight in their church because they are there. No, don't do that. You understand me? So when you see that the money that you have, you have been spending the money on sickness, on medication, on devourers, different, different things. You have to check yourself where this devourer is coming into your life. Or do you eat like you eat very well, but people are still looking at you. Ah, is this person sick? You know? The person have spiritual thing. You have something. So some people they're just laughing. <laughs> if you see what is happening in their life, eh, you will be so shocked and say, ah, eh, 
Uh -huh. Not all Christians that are good. Uh -huh. Or you, or, or like for example, you look for so much, like you do so much investment, and you now see that uh, very little that are coming in. You know that the heaven is. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, brother Mike. You see that the heaven is closed. Yes, it's true. Because some people, me, I don't. If you see my ministry, I don't really ask people for money. Why? My father and the Lord said, when they opened mountain of fire, when they opened mountain of fire, they were not asking people money. But when they see that people were not blessed, they begin to have them. Ah, so you see me, so I'm a nurse. Understand me? People know here. Yeah. Yeah. They see that their heaven was. They were closed. When I see my father and the Lord, it was a crowd. But my heaven was open. He was the one that come and picked me out of there because my heaven was low, open. That was a divine connection. Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> so, if you see, if you have a, a like a, a leakage in your purse, that is spiritual. This spiritual leakage in your purse, you have money, you finish it. You spend it, like I said, spend it on sickness, spend it on so many many things. Before the money will even come in, the expenses that we be waiting for the money, it will be too much. For you to spend the money in, you understand me? You know that the evil is closed. When they close it, they close every area. Hey, they close every area. Or you see, like some people now they say, "Be like say that person." Uh, but uh, you be like say, "Hold oh, there for your hand or there for your back." You understand me? Don't let people decree things on your life. You understand? So that is how it go. Hmm. If you see that. Uh, Okay, you no. Know, some people when they go to the house of God, they see that uh, you know the, the the word of God. Like I said earlier, they 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 do the, the the word of God. Then the, the pastor is preaching. His life is that shift. Uh, mostly in America. Oh, I need to break that shift. Let me tell you, me sitting down here. Somebody, if I'm talking, I always you have a uh, weakness. All the jobs that I have get, they don't ask for reference. So people, go bring this, go bring that, go bring that one. I was in the place I went to go and look for the whole panel. When the boss even say, "Are you the daughter?" I say, "He said everybody didn't want you. Everybody wanted. They were fighting. When I left, they were fighting. No, she's gonna be on my team. No, she's gonna be on my team. No, she's gonna be on my team." Because the heaven is open. The heaven is open. I don't care. I just look at somebody. When I look at her, I say, ah. There are a lot of people. There's, you know, in this country, women, they have children. They have children in this country. They are widow. I'll just go and say, Mommy, take this $200. Mommy, take $100. One woman say, I wish you are my, you are, you are your daughter, I'm your, I'm your mother. You are my little daughter. I wish. You understand me? When I look at I look at my family to go, charity begins at home. You understand? I said, okay, every widow in my family, mm -mm, take, mm -hmm, take. You know, once I would say, before I said it, God has used somebody. You understand me? That is how it was. You understand me? If you notice a strong domain, like a strong, like something is taking dominion over your life, what is taking dominion over your life? You know that your heaven is open. You know, you know, then you have to work out. You know, if you allow evil spirit to drink your blood, they will drink it and drink it. You know, Dracula when he remember that film now. We drink it, drink it. We drink it. We suck it. Some people they are sucking their spiritual blood. You understand me? So if you allow your heaven to be closed, it will be closed. It will be closed. If you allow your heaven to be closed, it will be closed. It will really be closed. So when you find somewhere that. Uh, you know, God is blessing you. I see that some pastors they will come. Hey, hey, this person are giving me this. Hey, all that is a lie. Don't give fake testimony. Somebody here that like, enter here just now. It's only two people that know here. The other one, the other person came to pick me, but doesn't enter. But this one enter. She, she and her family, the whole family, the woman of God, you know. We have to continue to do this. Don't, don't just go to a financial house. Go and give one make. If you are doing things. Let me tell you something. This one will shock you. If you want to do this for orphanage, you know, like Mother Teresa, mm -hmm. she's she's not alive anymore. If you want to go and give orphanage, don't go and give them because you want something from God. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That is conny conny blessing. Conny conny blessing. 
You hear me? When you want to go off and say, I want to go and give this thing to orphanage because I need blessing. Mm -mm. God will not, he will not bless that person because it's conny conny blessing. If you want to go and help the orphanage, do it with love. Do it because I love them. Be because, oh, they need it. Don't even think of what God is going to give you. That is straight and open blessing. <laughs> Hello? That is straight and open blessing. But when you are going there, I just, I'm doing my birthday. Let me just go and bless the orphanage. Let's go there. It's a conny conny blessing. God will not even bless person. Let me leave that one. I have that topic for another day about blessing people. You understand me? So when heaven has become brass, uh, that is when some people who have no money will begin to sink. When their heaven is close, they know that their heaven is close. Then we, they will begin to sink. When I get home, when I get home, my sorrow shall be over. You understand me? That is not correct, uh, because the Bible said, it said, Verily, I shall, it, it, the Bible said, say, I say unto you, there is no man that has left the house of God, or parents of, uh, uh, they, you know, left the house of God, you understand me? Then the person will go empty-handed. You understand me? <laughs> he said, uh, Yes, you cannot go from the house of God, then you will be left handed. Who shall not receive? Like, for example, now you go to the house of God. This is a house of God, the true man. I have actually went to when I, I went to Toronto because I was not supposed to be in Toronto. I was in America. But somebody that's I'm in Canada, right? I'm in Canada. But I was in America. Close to the border for Toronto, but I entered through America. That person is in uh, Canada. Please, mommy, don't say something. It's interrupting my video. I beg you. You know, so uh, this person said, I must see you. I have not seen the person for like 25 years. This person said, I must see you. I, I said, But you know, I'm, I'm not fit now. He said, I beg. I'm driving 14 hours. I know. So somebody told me, You are close to this border. I must see you in this border. Huh? Okay, I want, I, I, I just, I, okay, I have to go out of the border again and see the person. Hmm. We talk all night. Talk, 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 talk. When I say, eh, really? So we have to be careful. Don't some people marry because they want to marry. No, you can't do that. You can marry some husband or some wife, your heaven will be close. You understand me? Your heaven will be close. You understand me? <laughs> so, God, you know, like, I don't know how to say it. I don't want to offend people. You understand me? Actually, I went to church on that day in Toronto. That church, they locked that church for crying out loud. They locked the church. I said, why are you people locking the church? A house of God is free. It's free. Anybody can enter. Even a Christmas can enter. It's a house of God. Is where is for where is for sick people. You understand me? Not that people that are really sick, or people that have problem. You know, different. That is where they they lock this church. As you said, they don't lock the window. Lock everywhere. Say what? Why? Why would he say no? That is the way they lock the church. You feel me? Say ah. Uh -huh. I told that person. I said so. This church they lock. That is where you are. I see why your heaven is closed now. Ah. Uh -uh. Why are you gonna say I just said I just be looking at but the past everybody were looking at they know that this one she's not ordinary. I know a lot of people that were in that church uh -huh. <laughs> because they were putting me putting me in the front. It was not something that I said I want to go. I just locked myself there because I came for the border I entered there because I have to go back to the state again. Uh -huh. They locked the church, they close everybody here for bam. Bam, bam, bam. And if you see the people in the town, this one, the, the uh, child is sick. This one, the, uh -huh. a lot of people that I know inside that church, they have one problem or the other because I know them personally. The church was locked. I sit down. The pastor was looking at me. I was looking at the pastor. I was looking at them. They sing everything. I went. So we have to be careful where we step our leg. You understand me? I myself, I went to somewhere. I met somebody. I'm not there again. So this person invited me to their church. When he invited me to their church, I started stepping in there. 
Holy Spirit speak to me that this is not a church, it's a demonic church, although they are not Nigerians. The chair, when I sit down in my chair, this is like life. Spiritually, you can see it. Because God loved me so much, you know, that church would have destroyed the anointing totally, like zero. But Holy Ghost want me to see something. You understand me? As I was sitting down, they were singing, they were not Nigeria, all those the Asia. Somebody, that girl, she's still here now, she's looking at me. She told me, Sister Dora, all those people, they are in there, they are not there. This is where you are going. I said, I better go. House of God is house of God. He said, Okay, but I just said, As I want to enter, the Spirit of God spoke to me. When I entered there, they put me for food. I see that they were singing. Inside the church, like this, snake, you go come and pass my front like this. Broom! Come and pass my front like this. Broom! I was sitting down. For good, more than one month, under my button, the chair that I sit down, as I just said, sit down. Now, now so, something like, oh, like this, crawl, crawl like this. This one is life, I'm telling you, it happened last year. You can't do for the place. Let me say, next time when I talk to you here, you no? Know? But my father in law always says, say, what you people, all those who now will be new pastor, I'm not in shaku, no more who now relax. The thing you people are taking for granted, me as a man, man of God, I've been. I cannot take it for granted. You understand? That kind of person that went to that church, the anointing can be destroyed. The heaven can be closed. You know? But God have mercy on me and you just want me to see what is uh, really going on there. We have to be very, very careful. You know? If you want God to change you, if you want God to change you, you have an opportunity. If you say yes, if you want God to change you, if you want God to open your heaven, you have that opportunity. You understand me? So, if you have that opportunity for God to change you. You understand me? So, I I, I pray today. Say, you say, uh, you know, just pray today. You say, uh, I refuse uh, 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 a, a close heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. I refuse close heaven. I, I refuse close heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. I refuse close heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, the ministry that we went to, like my ministry, the way I was trained, I was seeing everything raw. Like, okay, raw. The devil is standing raw. They'll just send you. They send you and say, uh, sister, something, something is there. He's just trying. My father do not want to try you. He wants to try you to see what. I, okay, sister, something, something is for so, so, so. Okay, sh take over her case. You understand me? I wa I, the way when me I convert. I came from Canada. The way I convert, it was raw, like real raw, like this. You have to go and sweep. You have to do everything. You have to like really serve. You understand me? You cannot be talking to my talking to my father in law or you're talking to somebody there. You are greeting somebody. You are standing. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> you cannot do that too. You my father in law, your wife, when he come, he, every if it is hundred people that is sitting down there, he will need down, greet everybody one by one. You understand me? So that that contains our body language, arrogancy can actually close your heaven. We are raw today. If you have any question, come on on live video. I'm ready. You understand me? Arrogancy can actually close your heaven. Your word of your mouth can close your heaven. Your body language can close your heaven. Go and be giving this to orphanage, carry one meek, this thing, because you want God to do something for God. One Babalago has told you, go and donate for orphanage. Oh, there's no blessing. That is Kony Kony blessing. You understand me? When you do that blessing because you love them, because, oh my God, you love them with all your heart, that is a straight blessing so i refuse to tolerate or close heaven in the mighty name of jesus i refuse uh, to tolerate open he uh, close heaven in the mighty name of jesus uh, amen and amen so i want you to pray like this i want you to pray like this uh. say i shall not settle on a close heaven in the mighty name of jesus uh. i want somebody to write it if you know that is what you want uh. say i shall not settle on a close heaven in the name of jesus uh. hi dora agency i shall not settle on a close level uh, heaven in the mighty name of jesus let us pray uh. say i shall not settle <coughs> excuse me on a close heaven in the mighty name of Jesus, I shall not settle on a close heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus, I Dora I shall not settle on a close heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus, I shall not settle on a close heaven. I shall not settle on a close heaven. You shall not settle on a close heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes, Mama, it's true. You shall not settle on a close heaven. You shall not settle in a close heaven. In 
the mighty name of Jesus, uh, you shall not settle on the close level. Yes, my son, you shall not close on the uh, on the close level in the mighty name of Jesus. If you see some pastor, hey, hey in them, oh, no, sometimes we will be making mistakes. A lot of girls that we converted together, most of them while they marry. Once they marry like this, the fire will just you know, like full speed the fire will just push bah. Uh -huh. Like this, the fire, if we just squash like this, many young pastors, their fire will just squash like this. Bah! Because they went and operate on close heaven. You understand me? So people, uh, they, you know, when you want to marry a man as a pastor, whether I'm a pastor or woman pastor, yes. Make sure, some people have told me, ah, hmm. no, when people call you at night, you know, they could carry. Ah, ah. I'll be looking pastor. Ah, I don't know. So pastor, I say, shakara for them. He said, Shakara, that's why their heaven is close. You understand me? Uh -huh. So he said, I shall not settle on a close heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. Because some people, they like that, they like it as a comfort zone. Like I said, they'll be thinking, ah, it is well. Ah, it is okay. Oh. Some people say, God will do it, Shah. God will do it. I trust that God will do it. If you don't pray, God will not do anything. It's a lie. If you don't pray, God will not do anything. If you don't hold the club like this, God will not do anything. The person will be the person will just settle on open heaven. You understand me? Because there are people that have bombarded the heaven throughout the night. We don't sleep. Some people know here. They talk to me all night. You understand me? You know. So you shall not settle on a, a, a close heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, I shall not settle on a close heaven. I shall not settle on a close level in the mighty name of Jesus. I shall not settle on a close heaven. Rakata I shall not settle on a close heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. I shall not settle on a close heaven. I shall not settle on a close heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. And I decree and declare this morning that you shall not settle on a close level, a close heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus, you know when the heaven are closer and it become a brasser, the weight of a person goes to the wrong hand. You know because the heaven is closed, the person weight will just go to the wrong hand. You know the person child becomes sick, like I said, becomes sick, and they, there will be no money to treat the child. You understand me? Maybe the person have been having money before or something. You will see that because, like the woman with the issue of blood, she finished all her money, but now she hold the hem of Jesus Christ. You understand me? So they, they, when the person heaven is closer, the person will be exposed to danger. You understand me? The person will be, be exposed to a very, very great danger. You understand me? That is to show that the heaven has been closed. God, when the heaven is open, you are heaven watch. Heaven is watching you. Remember on that ladder when when the head there was ascending and descending. Remember that God was standing on the end of the of the uh, on the on the ladder up there because He's watching over the person. You understand me? Uh -huh. So if you tolerate it, it will continue. If you tolerate it, it will continue. Some people they just say it's well, it's well, it's not well. You understand me? So don't tolerate it. When you find that everything is just slipping away, everything is slipping away from your hands, sir. You know, this will come and it will go away. And the other one will go, it will go away. Just check the condition of your heaven. Do spiritual mapping and check this, uh, the condition of your heaven. You know, many sickness come come upon people who are not eating well you understand me spiritually spiritually because that food you know the, the you know reading with the word of god is, is food you know you know so it can still make your heaven to become brother you understand me people feed poorly some people they feed poorly because they don't want I, I was telling one of my auntie now she's here now telling her say no this one i will do for myself for this and that because you know, this you know, there's money and everything. Proverb 10 15 says that it says the rich man wet is in his strong city. The rich man wet is is in his strong city. The destruction of the poor is their poverty. You understand me? When the heaven are closed, scarcity is created in the midst of plenty. Amen. Amen. When the heaven are closed, the person will pay his tithe to the wrong place. I have just said that the person will 
pay his or her tithe to the wrong place when the heaven is close. You understand me? If you receive to pay it to God, something else will collect it from you. I didn't say you should come and pay it to me. Oh. Don't say because I'm saying that you can pay it to your church because people they are quick in accusing pastors. You understand me? You can pay it to your church. I'm just advising you. <laughs> so, according to the word of the Holy Spirit, when the heaven are open unto you, the devourers will be silent. I want somebody to write this one down. When the heaven is open unto you, the devourers will be silent. They will be silent, boom, because the heaven is watching you. Remember, I just picture that uh, that ladder that was going up and coming down. You understand me? And God was standing on top of the end of the ladder from heaven. You understand me? So anything that is going to happen to you, God will remove it. Whether death or whether sickness or whatever it is, God will remove it. You understand me? You know, some people, some people, whenever, whenever they got their salary, they use it to settle debts. Some people, when they got their salary, they use it to settle debt. They never paid anything to God. If you see, when they get, it's very common in America, common. For example, they are getting one thousand dollars again today. They pay this debt. They pay this debt. Those are the devourers. That is what Satan has put in your hand. You understand me? Uh -huh. So, brother, you are writing me. I thought you are here. God bless you. Eh? Please stop writing, okay? I thought you are here. Don't write me when I'm here, okay? Thank you. You are another in the church. You know the law. So. That is what, uh, that is how they, they pay this debt, they pay this debt, they, they pay this debt, they pay this debt. Because devourer is into their life. Devourer does not mean that they are devouring your money. They can devour anything good that is coming to somebody's uh, hand. Amen? Amen. So that is how they, they work. They pay everything in the mighty name of Jesus. Please let me write this person. Devourer can devour everything. You understand me? Sometimes people want you to talk. I counsel in the name of Jesus. Very soon I will remove my Facebook messenger. So that is how it was. You know, once, uh, you know, one of the greatest things that could happen to a man is to open, to have open heaven. You understand me? One of the greatest things that can happen to a man is to have an open heaven and i pray that the lord will give you open heaven today in the mighty name of jesus say father lord give me an open heaven today in the mighty name of jesus father give me an open heaven today in the mighty name of jesus holy ghost give me an open heaven say father lord give me an open heaven yes mommy if it God will give you an open heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Father, give me an open heaven. Father, give me an open heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. And Almighty God will surely give you that open heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. Because you are here today, because you are hearing the sound of my voice, Almighty God will give you an open heaven in every area of your life. Because if God wants to bless you, because like Philippians 4, 19 says, he will supply all your needs according to riches in glory. He didn't say he will supply one need or two needs. He said all, all your, all your needs. And I pray that Almighty God will supply all your needs today in the mighty name of Jesus. When you have an open heaven, blessings are released unto you abundantly. And you will take the good treasure of the land where the Lord has planted you. You see? Let me say that again. When your heaven is open, blessings are released unto you abundantly. Hmm? And you will take the good treasure of the land where Lord, the Lord has planted you. That is how it works. But if you continue to live in obedience, the heaven will remain closed. You understand me? This is what the Bible said. It's not me. 
the heaven will remain closed. And I pray that your heaven will not be closed in the name of Jesus. How to destroy the brass in your heaven, on, 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 above your head? How are you going to destroy it? How are you going to destroy it? You understand me? How are you going to destroy it now? You know, you have to repent your sin that has closed heaven against above your head. You have to repent your sin. This is the first thing to do. You know? <laughs> so, like I said, that disobedience can actually close your heaven. Let me tell you something. Deliberate sin is not forgiving. Deliberate sin is not forgiving. You know? You know, pray. Brass chattered prayers. Pray the prayer that can chatter the brows. That can break that brass that is covering your heaven. You understand, you understand me? There are some prayers sir, that we, that you will pray that will actually scatter that brass that is upon your head. You pray fervently, then you pray it with holy anger. You know, engage in sacrifice. You know, like grievous sacrificial giving. Engage in that. Give to God in a way that you will feel that you have given something. I did not say meal. Because people will change it now. Uh -huh. You understand me? Uh -huh. Do do things. Do things for people. You understand me? Do to, if, you see, if you see a sister that is suffering, brother that said, I help them because, you know, God will surely bless you. Uh -huh. So give generously and cheerfully without any grudge, without accepting things from God because you are giving something to somebody. You know? Uh -huh. So you should give away every, you know, you know, every opportunity that you have. Try to you know give it to god because i'm just going to be fast here you know and uh -huh. so try and praise god all the time praise god praising and uh, he will surely you know when you are praising god he will be in the midst of the praises that you are praising him amen amen you know destroy every ancestral covenant that you, you have made in any altars any covenant that you know you have made your father has made the one you know about you have to pray so that god will destroy it you know some people when they come for deliverance their problem will be worst you understand me because they have not opened themselves to god you know every ancestral altar you know that has been trying to trap your destiny you just destroy them you know like i said drop all language drop all language of close heaven like what we thought the language of close heaven i know for example what's gonna be gonna be i beg that language changes what's gonna be gonna be what's gonna be well i don't understand that so people what they are saying is just say, no problem what's gonna be is gonna be if god say i will get it i will get it do you know that god has already given it to you then somebody spiritually has snatched it from you you don't say what it's gonna be it's gonna be or like they just say ah, what goes what goes up more come down i know this will, no 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 because you are just you know closing the heaven more don't say it what gonna be gonna be you know it's something you say so say okay i cannot do anything about it what gonna be is gonna be no that is wrong understand me that is a word of close heaven what is going to happen is going to happen you don't need to do that i say a language of close heaven don't do that you know you know the bible says go for what the language of close heaven included hmm. some people now go hey, yeah hey, me like me as i be they say that's our prophet or prophet is there. i don't even as we are talking to me i'm walking away i don't have time you see hey, yeah. Oh, yeah. don't let people sorry for you it's not good for you spiritually and uh, something happens some friends they are quick in feeling sorry for you mm -hmm. so when everything turns upside down you have to pray that god will open everything for you uh -huh. so stop making all those uh all those statements you know hey yeah hey god can do it uh -huh. without even me stressing you have to stress because jesus christ preached remember when he took his disciples to this if you don't pray you sit and say god want to give you you know devil will come and sit down some people devil is sitting down in their living room we make coffee he will eat he will do everything doing uh, all activities there so we have to be careful you know you understand me so we have to be we have to mind the kind of words we, sp we speak to our children and our wife and our husband because those words will come and manifest and close the heaven you understand me 
<laughs> some people now maybe their wife miscarriage. So every time, every time you miscarriage, you have already closed the heaven. So we're just going to pray. Just have a bad night prayer. So pray. So we have been praying since, and Almighty God will surely bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Father, Lord, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, we bless you. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Jesus. As we're going to start to bombard the heaven now, Almighty God, open our heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Almighty God, answers our prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, answer our prayers. Sir. Father, Lord, we say plead for your mercy. We plead for your mercy, no God. Wherever our heaven has been closed, or oh, it's we that have made the heaven to be closer. Almighty God, open it for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, open it for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Father, open our heaven. Oh, Lord, open our heaven. Father, Lord, <coughs> excuse me, I have spoken to us today. Father, Lord, we don't know what we will do in the mighty name of Jesus. Please stop going to orphanage home and giving them little crumbs. You understand me? Stop going there. We go there, we share things like this. We take our money and we share things. We don't expect anything. We go there with, like, this place that I live is one of the coldest places. Share coffee, uh, stockings, blankets with love. You understand? With love. Just go there with love. Be on the cold with love. Doing these things for them with love. Not because, oh, Father, I want my heaven to open. Oh, Father, that is a connie, connie blessing. Remember when uh, this man prayed for his He prayed for all the belly, you know, for the bottom of the belly. That's when I saw prophet now, when they really want to pray for they pray. If me that has said, if you see some people, they don't talk to them two or three times. If you see the way God is using me for them, eh? Because I see their honesty. Oh my goodness. Their honesty is just too much. God is using me for them seriously. But some people, they are just sitting inside the anointing. They talk to me every day. They see me every day. <laughs> they are too familiar with grace. They are just too familiar with grace. You understand me? So I pray that as we're going to pray today, every prayer that we're going to pray today, Almighty God will do it. And this prayer is going to be now. Or any prayer we're going to say now in the name of Jesus. Sir. You say the number one, say, My heaven, open by fire now in the mighty name of Jesus. My heaven, open by fire now in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. My heaven, open by fire now in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. My heaven, open by fire now in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. My heaven, open by fire now. My heaven, open by fire now in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. My heaven, open by fire now. My heaven, open by fire now. My heaven. Open by fire now in the mighty name of Jesus. My heaven, open by fire now. My heaven, open by fire now in the mighty name of Jesus. My heaven, open by fire. Open by fire. My heaven, open by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. My heaven, open by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. My heaven, open by fire. Open by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. My heaven, open by fire. Open by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. My heaven, open by fire. Open by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, my heaven, open by fire, open by fire in the mighty name of Jesus, my heaven, open by fire, open by fire, open by fire, open by fire, open by fire in the mighty name of Jesus, my heaven, open by fire, open by fire in Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen, your heaven has opened in Jesus' name. The next one say, you my enemies, you shall not prevail in the mighty name of Jesus, your enemies that is staying in heaven, heaven, those your ancestors, your foundation that is in the second heaven, sir. you say you shall not prevail in the mighty name of Jesus. You, my enemies, you shall not prevail. You shall not prevail in the mighty name of Jesus. You, my enemies, you shall not prevail. You shall not prevail in the mighty name of Jesus. You, my enemies, you shall not prevail. You, my enemies, you shall not prevail in the mighty name of Jesus. Every enemy of my second heaven, you shall not prevail. You shall not prevail in the mighty name of Jesus. I say you shall not prevail. You shall not prevail in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall not prevail. Oh, you, my enemies, you shall not prevail. You shall not succeed over my life uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, you shall not succeed over my life. Uh, I say you shall not succeed over my life in Jesus' name. We pray, amen. In this one, you say, Oh God, arise in my life and let the world uh, know that you are my God in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, oh God, arise in my life and open my level, my heaven so that 
the world will know that you are God in my life. Because when your heaven is closer, people will be asking you, where is your God? People will be asking you, where is your God? Oh, Father, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, arise in my life uh, and show yourself in my situation. Uh, arise in my life uh, and show yourself in my heaven. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, oh God, arise in my life and show yourself in my situation and show yourself in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, arise uh, and show yourself in my life. Show yourself in my situation. Uh, people that are asking me where there is my God, uh, Father, Lord, show yourself. Uh, Father, Lord, show yourself. Uh, Father, Lord, show yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Father, Lord, open my level, uh, my, my heaven and uh, rewrite my story. Open my heaven and rewrite my story. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen in Jesus' name. Next one. He said, my hidden riches. You know, like I said, some people, they have inheritance that they don't know. Because of this, they, they are, you know, they, they want to do this. You know, they are giving to God. They have agenda and all those things, you know. If you are really doing things, you know, with good mind to people, to other people, you are nice. You see a sister in the church, the, the sister is not dressing well with love. You say, sister, I have some clothes that I will give you, you know, with love. You will see the way God will bless you. You understand me? All the hidden riches, God will give it to you. Amen. You say, my hidden riches uh, be revealed and be released to me now in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, yes, people are just saying yes. Yes, it's true. Some people see those some people, some sisters, they have go through some ways, but when they are still dressing, they are still dressing on that way. You understand me? With love, you can change their dressing. With love, you can help them. With love, you can help them with job. With love, you can give them connection. You understand me? That is love. You understand? Say my hidden riches are re re be revealed and be released unto me now in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, my hidden riches uh, be revealed and be released unto me now. My hidden riches be revealed and be released unto me. Be revealed and released unto me, unto me in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, my hidden riches uh, be revealed and be released unto me. Be revealed and be released unto me. Oh, every of my hidden riches are uh, my hidden treasures. Uh, oh, Father Lord, I I will not eat crumbs. Uh, Father Lord, I beg you, relieve it to relieve. Re Reveal it to me and release it unto me in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, hey, oh Father Lord, reveal it to me. My hidden riches be re reveal it to me in Jesus' name. We pray, Amen. Let me tell you one story before I start. I just want to, you know, uh, God will bless you. We have stopped the 40 days fasting. If God laid in your hand, in your heart, uh, that you want to sow a covenant seed, then there's a thing that uh, you can click that link that I put there. You can sow. It doesn't matter when you are in Nigeria. Some people, they see, you know, blessed person when they are in Nigeria. So I just want to quickly put that one. You can sow a covenant seed for the 40 days fasting and God will surely bless you. If you are sowing it, just mention what you are sowing it for. Is it for the ministry? Is it for the woman of God? Is it uh, for going to the nation? Is it to feed the poor? You understand me? Just say where you want your seed to be go and your seed we surely go there in Jesus' name. So let me quickly talk about the the, the, the hidden riches that we are talking about. When that the Adebo he came here, he came here because uh, what we do, like if that the Lucara is coming here, for example, we do what they call corridor prayers. You know, corridor prayers. It means everywhere is blocked because when uh, program is going on. When Satan and the agent they are coming, they come like flood. They come and attack people. You understand me? So when the corridor prayers are going on, everywhere will be blocked spiritually, right? So he, he was saying something. If you notice, that's why I still learned that was praying for somebody. If the prophecy is for someone, I still take it. You understand me? I still take it to myself because I'm a human being. I'm just uh, God put me here to be. I'm a God servant, so. I still need the prayer. Amen. Amen. So, people, they don't know what God wants them to do in life. You know, you have to pray that what God, like, what you are destined to do in life that God will show you. He mentioned about three things or four things. He said, one guy came to him. When the guy came to him, he told this guy, this guy has about three master's degree. But this guy does not have a job. This man is suffering. He suffered then he now put his money on his pocket and said take god said you're going to progress through granite <laughs> the man like said that you know 
I respected you so much as a man of God. Nothing you have said that I've not come about. But this one, me, as somebody that has so many degrees, to go and be selling granite, uh, daddy, please, just stop this one. I, I, I don't like He said, I hear it. Just like the Elijah. Elijah said, rain with fall. He said, rain with fall. He went to go and look again. He said, yes. he said, rain with fall. And I pray for your life today. Did that rain of abundance will fall in your life in the mighty name of Jesus? Sir? He said, I heard it. Cloud that you're going to do granite business. <laughs> he said that, well, I'm going, that's enough. I, I, I don't think I can take this anymore. I cannot use my, my degree go to go to uh, 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 sell granite. Then the prophecy keep on coming and coming. Later, he took the money. When he took the money, he said, as he's talking now, eh? he said, as he's talking now, this man has more than three private jets. Okay, let me tell you the kind of granites. You know all those granites they are using the honey. Do what well, those presidents or people they are they are eating quon, 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 where they are doing a, a meeting and everything. With all this one they are, they are they are giving you inside the flight. It's the man that is doing it. He said, as we are talking now, that man has more than three private jets. Granots. You understand me? Another one. One lady. This one happened here in the church here. One lady, yeah, suffering, 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 came to pass her back. Uh, pastor, help me. And uh, this and that. Man, pastor said, It's not this your degree that you want you, you used to work. Because devil will so bless your people's eyes, they don't even see what God is telling them. You understand me? Yeah, take it, take it, brother Mike, in Jesus' name. They don't even know. When he called to meet this pastor, this pastor said, ah, Granato here. <laughs> I said we go do that granite business. So. He said granato here. <laughs> oh, he said pastor, pastor. I would, I will never come here. Again. Why are you doing this? Me without my degree. He said I can hear that one. You know, say I pray that your opportunity will not pass you by. Some people, the opportunity with your day here, they will blow it away. You understand me? Then. Then this woman went when she when she was coming for one part-time job. Then a Muslim man put her in the car. What they were talking about? Talking, ah, are you from uh, Nigeria? Where are you from? Say from Nigeria. Ah, Nigeria. Oh, he liked that country because you know the time when they were having war, America. Because if America want to war with any country or Canada want to war with any country, so all the things that they are getting, they will stop them from coming to that country. He said, ah, America has stopped uh, this thing from coming to Iraq and uh, all those places, uh, Granato here and everything. Because uh, I don't know, but they say Nigeria have good Granato here. Yeah, he said. Ah, but if it was seen that the man was chasing her, we will hear granite oil. Huh? Granite oil. And he said, Yes, yes, we have granite oil. Yes, yes. He said, I have some bosses. All those uh, me as big, big people that live in London here. If you can supply, they will give you the money. He said, Yes, I will supply, I will supply. Let I look at the guy. When he hear again, that sound, the pastor was telling him, because as she was going, she was cursing the pastor as she was going. Then, he said, okay, let's go. He goes. So we go there. You see all those uh, Muslim people that sit on the ground. The house was so beautiful. Then he said, okay, come. I've talked to them. Because the man entered as well. I talked to them. So you are from Nigeria. I said, yes, okay. We will give you. This is, we are talking about pounds now, millions of pounds. We will give you. You go and supply all oh, year from your country. We will not take your address anything. But if you're wrong, we will go. You will, I will be mafia for this day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right away. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Give her. They just give her money. Give us a check. Then she went and she's going, she went to the church. They want to see the pastor. They say, No, we want to see the pastor at appointment. Say, if I don't see the pastor, I will scatter this church. I will scatter this church now. We are talking about divine connection. You know, that is what God gives. God will, can change somebody's life in one second. Then what the one meet pastor. One woman said, want to scatter and she scream, okay, bring her in, bring her in. One said, you just call the church. Pastor, you are a great man of God. Ah. Pastor, everything that you have been saying come to pass. You are a great man of God indeed. Uh -uh. People have been saying that you said things it come to pass. Pastor said, what's it? He carried check. He carried money. Say, Pastor, see. Pastor, you were talking to me. I didn't believe you. Pastor, see blessing. He said, eh? Really? Pastor, I love you. God will bless you. That woman, she's the richest in London now. She's still doing this business tomorrow. Some people, daddy said, some people, when God told, God said, I know that you're going to use a scissors. 
you will not listen to the man of God. Okay, I'm using it. God said you're going to use his us to reach. What are you going to cut? Are you going to be a barber? Are you going to be a tailor? Are you going to cut, uh, you, uh, do a, a factory that will be cutting grass or something? You know, they'll just go, hey, Pastor said I will use his us. You're going to be cutting hair. It will not manifest. You understand me? And so when a man, so when I came to this earth, Monday, before when I, when I was little at home, this old DJ Shafo came to our house, our area. My mom took me to the church. There's one pastor that was coming to me to the church. When the man wants to touch my head, just come back like this. <laughs> he said, Are you the mother? I said, Yes. <laughs> he said, This is your daughter. I said, <sighs> my mother was laughing. You know, I, by any, I was uh, for a polygamous, so they don't believe all those ones. One pastor in Edmonton is here. The pastor doesn't even speak English. They speak French. He says, Sir Dora, God will use it this Edmonton. I just laugh and beg. Come on. It's happening already. So we just pray that the hidden treasure that you have, that God will open your eyes to see it. You understand me? It's very, very, it's very, very important. <laughs> so God will reveal it to you. And the ones that you have missed, that God will reverse it to you in Jesus' name. And I pray that those hidden riches that you we get it in the mighty name of Jesus, and God will open your eyes to see it in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, a lot of blessings people have been seeing overnight blessings. It's not a, it's not something that they say it's a lie. People have been seeing overnight blessings like this, like like this, like this. Me, my, I'm talking to you. My, I've seen overnight blessing every time I say it. When I come from Nigeria, I want to do program for September. And a lot of things have happened before I come down for breath, for flight. My name has full social media. My name full social media like this. Eh? What sort of happen? And I went out when I came back. The, the old house has gone down. I say, eh? Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you for making it up. Father, I thank you. I only have insurance. And I didn't even pay like auto. Thirty dollars for the insurance. They beg me to do that insurance. They beg me. What devil say you want to use to suffer me? God reverse, uh, reverse it to blessing. I just come from Nigeria. Waiting I get for the house. I pack everything. Go. You understand me? That is how God bless me. So when I was talking to that, I was shaking. Like, I never give the rich thirty dollars. Shut it up. One my mind say, I, I don't you know the God you serve. That is how God. He can. You know. He will use a poor person. Eh? It will change your story overnight. That is how God works. You understand me? And I pray that you receive that grace today in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive that grace today. Receive that grace today. Receive it. Receive it. God bless you, sir. Receive it. That is how, you know. But when I came from there, I was, there was nothing. They take everything, like everything away from me. But God show his, oh, you know, like, Come and see. If you want pictures, I will show. It's on the news. God show His power. Everybody that went, they even the children, they did not give them money. I was the only one they give money. They give me two. The government give me money twice. People, everything, you know. Eh? No, no, overnight, 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 overnight. Ah, they have been looking for you. Ah, ah. When I, I I went to hotel, one of my sister, yeah, uh, I went there. When I, I said, go and stay hotel. I said the hotel. When I called them, I was shaking. I said. Ah. They said, they have been looking for you. So you are, you are in that hotel. I said, okay. Uh, uh, okay, where are you now? I said, I want to go to one of my sister. Uh -huh. Okay. If, did she want you to pay anything? I said, yeah. I don't buy tell them. Bye. I buy tell them. Uh -huh. They the sunny. Bah, 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 bah. They give me. When I go to the government. Uh, you know what? But don't you know? That has that just burned down over the weekend. I said, yeah. She was there. Said, uh -huh. But the bosses, they are refusing people, they are refusing people money. Uh -huh. Let me go and talk to the boss. They give me money. Bam. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They say, okay, uh, may you come in three or four days when you guys. I went there. You know what the devil did? For this Canada, I pay house rent. The person carried <laughs> the house rent that I, I paid. The person carried the money. I want to react. I said, no, I will not react. I use this one to buy, buy my head. Uh -uh. That is how. When I went there, I have not met this woman. Not the one I met before. The one just got that cloth, everything. New, new cloth, shoe, every gather. I gave one woman that we were in the, the same uh, area together because the whole area burned down. Then I said, Hold the cloth, I'm coming. I want to go for my point. Before I go, she carried the cloth. I said, I just have my head. 
Then when I go, I was sitting down in the front of the white woman. Ah, she was saying, he said, well, uh, they wanted to give you small bet. I'm going to double it to some few thousands of dollars. I, I said, hey, yes, ma. Hey, are you sure, ma? He said, yes, I'm giving you. You see the money right in your account. Eh? Hey. He give it. Uh -huh. Me, we did not even call for a couple for Nigeria. Uh -huh. I said, hey. then do it for me. You understand me? When I pack my car, I just buy the car. If I tell you, you know, I'm just, I'm a testimony. I'm a testimony. That's why I'm using myself as an example. God do things for me to say it. I'm not, but some pastor, they had their testimony, don't know about that. I'm just, I'm a big testimony. I just bought a car. When I bought a car, they said, so, you know, they shoot. Somebody, they caught a shooting. They said, yeah, oh, they caught a shooting. They, they shoot everything, the glass, everything. I see, I have the picture. The small time we're releasing it. God, I had this I say I must pay for the the glass. The glass is not included. Ah, ah. This and that. No auto three months. I got another car, forty thousand dollars. Did you hear me? So there's nothing God cannot do. Receive it, my brother, in Jesus' name. There's nothing God cannot do. When a small girl in the family now becomes a rich person, is not power behind it. As a old man in the family, all the children they are cursing you. Is that not an error? That is an error. You understand me? That is an error. You are not the senior person in the family. All the children they are not cursing you. That is an error. You are not a small girl. A small girl in the family. Then you are now the person that is shining. The person that they, they are there. You know because the person. Me, like me, they have written my name off. You understand me? They are like writing my name off of the family. Like, written me off, zero, like off. But when God start to do this, we are my own place that I say, if you are not rich, you cannot get something there. The plot of this is not church money. I'm telling you, the money that God has used to bless me. If you pass that place, governor, that guy has there. If you pass that place, minister of this one. That is the word of God. That is the plan, the, the, the blessing of God. Because God, when God starts to bless you, it will be flowing and it will flow. But it doesn't mean that something will not see happen. You understand me? Ah, ah. Eh? So she just can't get this. Ah, how? How? It will not turn to her, her miracle. You see, ah? Don't you know uh, Mommy Abubaka has bought uh, uh, the airport in, in New York? You see, huh? Really? He don't so let that. If you see that, uh, you know that place everybody used to go for this, uh, uh, Dubai. Uh -uh. She have bought it. That is how God works. The money that you will get, that God will give to you, will not suffer for it. You will not suffer for it. You understand me? We have to be careful because sometimes we use our, our own mouth to close our heaven. We use our own body language to close our uh, our heaven. You understand me? That is just my own. When I this place that I'm this place that I'm sitting down now, when I come here, I say I want to come and tell this place. When I come here, uh, I say where well, I say I was living in that uh, place that burned down. Ah, she just carried for hello, hello. You know that has a burned down so so place that. Uh, he say yes. This is after one month plus. So, eh, uh, one lady is here. She said that. Uh, eh, oh, oh, eh, okay. No, tell her not to pay the deposit of the house. You hear me? Many, many things. Doctor has given a report. Me that is sitting down here. Three months, you are dead. Eh? Three months. I tell everybody, lose up. As you see me, so everybody had, like, say, left. Like, that is why you see me now. I'm used to staying by, my, by myself. Stay by, my, you know, just stay. Why? Because it's even good. Because that time I'm staying, the time was gone. This one will come. Hey, one go carry carry. You want to come greet me? You want to come love? I don't get time to talk to the Holy Spirit. But now I say, I will say, talk to the Holy Spirit. You understand me? I am a testimony. Many many things I will begin to say. Many many things I will begin to say, begin to say, begin to say, begin to say, begin to say. Many many things. So with that you connect. 
you're going to connect because I connect to 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 to, to that that my father and the Lord. I connect, you know. I connect. A lot of people have that they converted or everything. They did it. I connect, you know. When I saw that, I don't even know who is the man. My father and the Lord. I don't know because I'm not a church going person. I don't know now. People, president, they see him. Before you see for one hour, two hours, <laughs> people have been coming, but I stayed there for more than two months doing training and everything. So you have to open your mind, let your heart be nice. Because some people they say they are serving God, they went and hide inside the church. Inside the church, where that is where they, they are hiding. A girl is looking for husband, they go inside the church, you go and carry there for day. A woman is a, a, a man is looking for wife, you go inside the church, you go and carry there for day. Let's continue the other four prayer. God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's start, start from the one that is making us to say all this ones. You say, My hidden riches be revealed and be released to me in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. My hidden riches be revealed and be released to me in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. My hidden riches be revealed and be released to me. Be revealed and be released to me in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. My hidden riches sir, be revealed and be released to me today. Be revealed and be released to me today in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. My hidden riches be revealed and be released to me. Be revealed and be released to me. Be revealed and be released to me in the mighty name of Jesus. All my hidden riches be revealed and be released to me in Jesus name we pray amen and amen in the mighty name of Jesus sir. so we're going to pray this one like I said I was saying that no for if you want the the the, the heaven to open above your head you cannot make papa papa like this you see your sister is suffering your brother is suffering you are laughing at them no it will it will not work uh -huh. so you, there are so many things you're going to do that will make open heaven you can just go to church not me because most of you have not seen me on ground you understand me <laughs> so if you see me glory to god and god bless you you understand me you can say ah, that church doesn't have a, a speaker pastor i'll give you five speakers you have announced that you know speaker like this i have have a revelation like this i was having a golden bible a golden speaker you understand me so when you do that, they want to use that one to agree. Not do it because of agenda. Do it because of love. Do it because they don't have it. They need it. You will see how God will announce you. For example, you understand me? Oh, so there are some people they don't they don't have money. Like the time I don't have money, I go and sweep the church. I sweep the church. I clean the church. I carry children to come in. I was an enter in the church. You understand me? At that time, I just carry. I do everything. Even if you don't have anything, use your body as a sacrifice for the church. You understand me? Use yourself to as a sacrifice for the church. You understand? Uh -huh. Pastor need this one. Pastor want to go this one. Oh, this and that. So me, I use my car. Carry people. It doesn't matter where you live. I've written it for Facebook. It doesn't matter where you live. I will come and pick you. You understand me? So you know, it's, everything is not about money. Pastor is coming. Quick, we run. You know, I've seen some people go and meet pastor. Pastor, I want to work for you. The pastor is coming. Oh yeah, carry the pastor uh, uh, back. Put it there before the pastor come. The the the, the 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 office is clean. Everything. You understand me? Pastor wants to see people collect their name, do everything. You have sacrificed yourself to the church. That is a blessing. You understand me? <laughs> so people like to give where there is not uh, that that where is no solid ground. Give. And a solid ground, and God will surely bless you. So, I'm going to pray, say, All windows of heaven, open unto me now in the mighty name of Jesus. Tell the window of heaven to open unto your head right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, All windows of heaven, open unto my life, open unto my head right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, windows of heaven, open unto my life, open unto my head now in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, windows of heaven, open upon my head, uh, open unto my head right now in the mighty Mighty name of Jesus, sir. windows of heaven, open upon my head, 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 open upon my head in the mighty name of Jesus, sir. windows of heaven, open upon my head, open upon my head in the mighty name of Jesus, sir. 
windows of heaven now. Open up to upon my head. Uh, open up on my head. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And I pray for you today that the windows of heaven will open up on your head in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, I said the windows of heaven will open up on your head. Uh, we open up on your head in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, the windows of heaven will open up on your head. We open up on your head in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So we're going to pray this one. I want somebody to pray this one very hard. Uh, really, very, very hard. Uh, with holy madness. Uh, just pray this one. Uh, say, satanic brass. You know, the brass we are talking about. Satanic brass of iron. Working against me. Chattered in the name of Jesus. Satanic brass that is working against me. Against my heaven. Uh, chattered in the mighty name of Jesus. I command you now to chatter. Let me put that bomb if I can see the kind of bomb uh, that God will use uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy bomb. Rakata liba basan tarabo satanic brass upon my head. I command you now to chatter right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Satanic bomba chatter right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I command you now to scatter. I command you now to scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Every satanic brass of iron working against my heaven. I command you now to scatter by fire. Scatter right now. Scatter by fire. Scatter right now. Scatter right now. Scatter right now. Scatter right now in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, satanic brother uh, of iron that is working against my heaven, uh, that is above my head, uh, I command you now to scatter by fire, scatter right now, scatter right now, scatter right now, scatter right now in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, scatter right now, scatter right now, scatter right now in Jesus' name we pray, amen. And I pray for someone here today, every satanic brass of iron uh, that has been covering your heaven, uh, I command you now to scatter, I command you now to scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. I command it now to scatter. I command it now to scatter. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire of the Holy Ghost. Scatter by fire of the Holy Ghost. Every satanic brass of iron uh, that they have locked bomb that is closing your heaven. Uh, I command it now to scatter. I command it now to scatter. I command it now to scatter in Jesus' name. We pray. Say every satanic brass of iron that is covering my heaven. Uh, scatter. 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 Scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen with thanksgiving. So we're going to pray like what with, like what I said before, you know, in the Bible, if you read from the book of Genesis, uh, this sun, this moon, and stars, uh, they are, you know, God created it to bless us. You understand me? But all those seers and everything, they went and hide inside the moon, use it against somebody. So, go no pray, say, sun, moon, and stars, uh, refuse to cooperate with my enemies. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, sun, moon, and stars, uh, refuse to cooperate with my enemies. Refuse to cooperate with my enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, refuse to cooperate with my enemies. Uh, you son, uh, you son, uh, stars, and uh, moon, uh, refuse to cooperate with my enemies. Uh, refuse to cooperate with my enemies. Uh, refuse to cooperate with my enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, refuse, uh, refuse to cooperate with my enemies. Uh, you son, star, and moon, refuse to cooperate with my enemies. Uh, refuse to cooperate with my enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, refuse to cooperate with my enemies. Rakata uh, Santaraba. Refuse to cooperate with my enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, you son, star, and moon, uh, refuse uh, to cooperate with my enemies. Uh, whatever the every ordinance is, uh, they have they have done in the moon, in the star, against your close heaven. I command it now to wipe away right now with the blood of Jesus. I wipe it away right now with the blood of Jesus. I wipe it away right now with the blood of Jesus. I wipe it away. I wipe it away. I wipe it away. I wipe it away. Anything they have written up in the moon, in the in the stars, in the sun, against your life that have closed your heaven, I wipe it away right now with the blood of Jesus. I wipe it away right now. I wipe it away right now in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen with thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm going to pray. We have two more to go. You say, every power that has assigned to sit on my glory, I unseat you now and die in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm every power in the second heaven that have seated on my glory, that have seated on my virtue, that have seated on my destiny, that have seated on my testimony, I'll put you right now. I'll put you right now. I'll put you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I'll put you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Raba Basin Karaba, Retoto Zinkaraba Sete. I put you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I put you right now. I put you right now. I put you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power that have been assigned to sit on my breakthrough, that have been assigned to sit on my glory, that have sent to, to sit on my destiny in the second heaven, I'll sit you and I command you to die. I'll sit you, I command you to die. I'll sit you, I command you to die. I'll sit you and I command you to die. Any power that I've seated, okay, you say it, you say it to yourself, say, any power that sits on my glory, any power that sits on my breakthrough from the second heaven, I'll sit you now, I command you to die. I'll sit you now, I command you to die. I'll sit you now, I command you to die. I'll sit you now, I command you to die. Ah, Dora Resi. Any power that I have sit on my testimony in the second heaven, any power that I have sit on my glory, or that I have sit on my, on my breakthrough in the second heaven, I'll sit you now and I command you to die. I'll sit you now, I command you to die. I'll sit you now, I command you to die. I'll sit you now, I command you to die. I'll sit you now, I command you to die. I'll sit you now, I command you to die in Jesus' name. Amen. And when your heaven is open, your ministry will be open. You understand me? Yeah. People have been telling me, come and open church, come and open. Now God said, go open church. I can't go open church. The city here, I don't say, ah, ah. Wait till that girl, wait till back that girl up. If it's even churches there, I don't know, maybe I will be telling them, ah, ah. Mama, that, that girl, she can pray. Eh? She can pray. I like her. I like her. Mm -hmm. She can pray. They say, eh? What can she brought? What? 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 What is backing her up? Because the heaven is up. You understand me? So we're going to pray like this. The last prayer. You say, every pharaoh from my hometown that is sitting on my bedroom, sick in the Red Sea in the mighty name of Jesus. Every pharaoh in my hometown, every pharaoh in my village, every pharaoh in my father's and my mother's house, every pharaoh in, in our family house uh, that is sitting on my breakthrough that is working to close my close my heaven uh, I command you not to sink in the red sea I command you not to sink in the red sea in the mighty name of Jesus uh, I command you not to sink in the red sea I command you not to sink in the red sea in the mighty name of Jesus uh, every pharaoh of my hometown every pharaoh of my father and my mother's house uh, every pharaoh of our family house uh, that is sitting on my breakthrough that is working to close my heaven uh, I command you not to seek on the red sea and die. I command you not to seek on the red sea and die. I command you not to seek on the red sea and die. I command you not to seek on the red sea and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, seek on the red sea and die. Seek on the red sea and die. Seek on the red sea and die. You that Pharaoh in my father's house, uh, in my mother's house, uh, that is sitting on my breakthrough. I command you now to die in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, I command you not to seek on the red sea and die. I command you not to Seek on the red sea and die. Seek on the red sea and die. Seek on the red sea and die. Begin to pray. Say any Pharaoh that is sitting uh, on your breakthrough, that that Pharaoh should die in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, that Pharaoh of your father's house uh, that is sitting on your breakthrough. Oh, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, I command that Pharaoh to die right now. I command that Pharaoh to die right now. I command that Pharaoh to seek on the red sea. That Pharaoh that is sitting on my, on, on, on my glory. That is closing my heaven, uh, or that has planned to close my heaven in my father's house. I command you not to die. I command you not to die in the red sea. Die in the red sea in the name of Jesus. Uh, I command you not to die. I command you not to die. I command you not to die in the mighty name of Jesus. Rabba basi karaba. Rekete zindaraba soto ripa papa. Father Lord. Oh Father in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, oh Father in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, begin to tell God now to open your red sea. To divide it, uh, that rest that is in your life, uh, tell God to open it right now to close it. Rabba uh, basi karaba. Oh, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, Lord, begin to touch your children, begin to touch them in the mighty name of Jesus. Rebo basi karaba city. Father, Lord, touch your children. Father, Lord, divide that rest. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Holy Ghost, divide that rest. Say, Father Lord, divide that rest. Divide that rest in the, you know, in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Father Lord, say, Father Lord, deliver, deliver me. Holy Ghost, deliver me. Father Lord, deliver me. 
deliver me in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that Almighty God will teach you, touch you today in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, Lord, deliver me. Say, Father, Lord, deliver me by fire. I need this divine deliverance in every area of my life. I need divine deliverance in my situation. I need divine deliverance in my open heaven. Father, Lord, I need the deliverance. Open deliverance. Divine deliverance in my second heaven. In the second heaven, I need deliverance for my heaven to open. Father, Lord, deliver me. Holy Ghost, deliver me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ratata zindarabakata. Lebobo zindarabakete. Oh, Father, Lord, deliver your children. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, deliver them. Father, Lord, deliver them. Holy Ghost, deliver them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, deliver them. Rabababa sitaraba. Father, Lord, deliver them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, deliver your children. Say, Father, Lord, deliver me. Holy Ghost, deliver me. Father, Lord, deliver me in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to tell God to deliver you from every where, anywhere that you need to deliver. Say, Father, Lord, deliver me. Holy Ghost, deliver me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, deliver me. Begin to tell God to deliver you. He will deliver you. He will deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. Almighty God will deliver you. Rapa Pasi Karaba. Father, Lord, deliver me in the mighty name of Jesus, and you are delivered in Jesus' name. And I pray for you today as we have come to this, uh, um, as we have come today, and I pray that Almighty God will deliver you in the name of Jesus. If you know that you have not given your life to God, or you have backslid in any way, we are human beings, you understand me? We are our sinners, by the grace of God, you know, God will deliver us in the mighty name of Jesus. Just you know, confess this where you have. Say, Father Lord, I know that I have passed life. Father Lord, forgive me all my sins. All my sins. Father Lord, I, I, I have acknowledged you as my Lord and my God and my Savior. Father Lord, receive me in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Amen. And uh, I want to congratulate you for doing that. And Almighty God will surely bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. I pray for everyone here. I didn't say because you are not here, I'm not praying for you. You understand me? So I'm praying for you and I pray that Almighty God will open way for you. If you are if you, if you want healing, Almighty God will open way for you for, for your healing. If you want financial breakthrough, it will open way for you. If you end whatever you made on this on the uh, whatever heaven you want God to open for you, testimony, multiple testimony, Almighty God will open it for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. I say Almighty God will open it for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever you need, He will do it for you in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen and amen and amen and amen. And come with more testimony. This 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 uh, week will be a multiple testimony that is waiting for you. Your name is written on it. Come with breakthroughs and come with testimony and you will have a, a reason to shout hallelujah. And God will give you that heart of faith. God will give you that, that heart that you will trust, you will use to trust it so that the right hand of God will move, will move for you in the mighty name of Jesus. This new week will be a week of no regret for you. It will be a, a week that will wipe away all your tears. I say this week will be a week that Almighty God will connect you to your breakthrough. We send your destiny help us. This is a week that Almighty God will open doors for you. The doors, the good doors that the enemy has shut, Almighty God will open it for you this week. In the mighty name of Jesus, connect. As you connect now, receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, new job, new paper, new document, new breakthrough, everything. New baby. It's coming. Womb is opening in the mighty name of Jesus. Come with testimony this this week in Jesus. The daughter report has been cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus. I myself, Dora Agassi, I connect to this word that Almighty God has just been spoken to here today in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you all. So let's play this music and use it to go. So we begin to trust God. Ancient of days, God bless you all. My trust is Be a nigo, be a nigo, you shall be a nigo this week. I said you shall be a nigo this week. Because ego always fly above his enemies. My trust is in you. 
I put the money in you. My trust is in you. I put the money in you, Lord. My trust is in you. My trust is in you. My trust is in you. If you know, you trust in the Lord. My trust is in you. My testimony is a full book. Of. Thank you, Jesus. It is your time. It is your time to manifest. Enough is enough in your life. Star of the universe, my trust is in you. Thank you, Jesus. Come work in God. My trust is in you. My trust is in you. My trust is in you. Congratulations. Put them on in you. My trust is in you. I put them on in you, Lord. My trust is in you. Okay. I put them on in you, Lord. My trust is in you. I put the money in you. My trust is in you. My trust is in you. My trust is in you. I put the money in you. Okay. Bye-bye. God bless you. God bless you. Bye.